Right, Adam, um, sh straight from the dugout basically into here to do an interview. 4-1. Uh, uh, spoke to a couple of players coming off the pitch, threw them on air. <laughs> and their view was that they just wanted to show the fans what they could do after last week. Have you had the same opinion and pleased with the performance? No, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we got the early goals, like the little routine that we've been working on in training, so pleased that that come off. Yeah. Pat on the back for that one, and me and Cam, and that put that together. So, yeah, pleased that that come off. Um, but then after that, we obviously to then give a goal straight away. It really, really did uh, test the sort of players' character, and I thought we responded well. We had to be patient. They come good game plan, which I think we're going to get a lot this season. And it's a case of us just keep believing in what we do, and um, you know, eventually you hope that you get enough chances that our players will take them. Yeah, one of the um, obviously. Couple of standouts really. Oli Pierce had a cracking game, I thought. Um, but as an impact substitute, Tom Chalet, uh, what a performance from him coming on. One assist, one goal. No, yeah, um, I thought Oli got his two goals. Um, but other than that, his all round play was pretty poor, in my opinion. And I think he'll be of the same opinion as well. Um, you know, definitely room for improvement there. But what a finish, and, and you know, he took his goals really well. So you can't knock him too much. And Tom, yeah, it come, it's sort of. Wanted where they sort of pressed uh, after we went two and up. We wanted someone to just hold up the ball, and you know I think he can do that. But also I think you know he, he took his goal really well and got into great opportunities, great uh, positions to score goals. And with the type of player that Tom is, you know that if you give him too many, he's going to tuck them away. And um, yeah, I thought he was a real bright spark and done excellent. Yeah, obviously we saw horrible injury to Alex Parsons. Um, any sort of in day what the damage is, uh, especially as is you know. He hasn't played for a while for yeah. us, and to get him back in the team was a bonus. And then this happens. Yeah, I bought a real sort of dampener on on the whole result. Really, um, having him, you know, I thought his 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 work rate and his personality around the place is just infectious, and really has been missed. And I thought it was invaluable to have that today. Um, and he brought so much to us. Um, yeah, for him to, to get an injury, we're just hoping and praying it's nothing too serious. Um, obviously, he's, he's got a, a good job and that as well, so you worry about how it affects all of his um, mm. you know, work of life and his, um, you know, it's, it's his well-being, it's, his, it's what he does, so you know, heart goes out for him because I think he typifies everything that's good about Worthing Football Club. Um, so, yeah, just, just praying that it's nothing too serious and we can see him back out on that pitch as soon as possible. OK, so we've got uh, Cray next week away from home. Um, expecting the same sort of performance, same sort of team, would you think? Yeah, um, obviously we're missing about four key players today uh, through sort of Covid, um, just being close contacts and stuff like that. So, you know, I think we're going to get that for a bit now, but, I've, you know, Luca come in and was excellent. So we know now that we've got a squad of players. Um, obviously, young Kyle come on, you've got Ty on the bench, and, you know, Buddy um, had a bit more of a sort of coaches type role today from the bench. And just, again, him being around the players is is is, is invaluable for us. Um, so we've got it's still good good squad of players to call upon and we'll just have to assess how open he is. Uh, Cox is in his house going to be a bit tight towards the end and um, probably the most minutes he's had in, in a long time for us. Um, so yeah, just have to assess how open he is and um, like I say, hopefully one or two will be back and we'll have a bigger squad to, to choose from for next week. Yeah. And obviously over a thousand here today. I understand I gave you a pint, um, but the atmosphere today was, was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, you do, don't you? Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, delighted. Um, yeah, all, all, I think um, all we can do is try to put on a performance. Well, second half is a bit a bit slow at times and we didn't really get going, um, but you know, the fans stepped with us and you know, when you come out to that noise, honestly, second half is just so infectious and really does spur the sort of team on. I don't think quite appreciate just how much it, it sort of helps and yeah like I think that's got to be our target now to try and keep over that thousand mark for every home game if we can and um, hopefully performances like that second half lots of chances will we'll bring everyone back and um, yeah just unbelievable support and want to sort of try and maintain it now throughout the season. Okay cheers for that Adam. Cheers, um, should we get a yeah, bar? Yeah let's go get a pipe mate. <laughs>